Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today's video is about the private pilot's license written exam. This exam is probably the first real exam you're gonna do as a pilot, uh, other than P-STAR, radio exams and little things like that. This is the first real test and it can feel like it's something very big and difficult to achieve. Um, you might feel a little nervous about it, but today I'm here to calm you down and say that everything's gonna be okay and give you some tips and share a little bit of my experience with the written exam. So before you even do the written exam, you're probably, you're gonna have to do a ground school. Um, maybe you're gonna do the ground school with the school you're doing your flight training with. Um, maybe you're gonna do the ground school by yourself online at home at your own pace. If you're gonna do it by yourself, it can be a little hard to have the discipline to pace yourself every hour and give yourself the time you need to learn and study. Since there's no one watching you while you do it, uh, it can be easy, you know, to, to skip a day or two. It can be easy to say, okay, tomorrow I'll do it. If you have to go to the ground school at your school, maybe it's harder to miss classes, you know, and if you're there, you're already there, so you might as well learn. If you work full time, it can be a little hard to go to ground school, but you know, in the end of the day, this decision is completely yours. Uh, both has their benefits and their, their drawbacks. Whatever fits your lifestyle and your work routine better, good for you. If you're a full time student and you're coming to Canada to become a pilot, uh, you're probably gonna do your ground school with your own school and they're gonna provide you with the materials you need and everything so you don't have to go out chasing uh, the stuff you, you need to get. I did my ground school with Canadian Aviation College. They gave me a flight bag with all the maps, books and tools I needed for my ground school. It's not a lot of stuff you need, but it, it was nice to already have all of that prepared for me when I got here. That included like a human factors book from the ground up, flight exercise book, a map, ruler, protractor, a flight computer, an electronic flight computer, and also a, a knee board, something we use for every flight we do. The only thing I had to buy by myself was the headset. Headset's not really something you want to be sharing with other people. It's a very personal object, so I suggest you buy your own. I made a few videos about headsets. I'll put a link down in the description for you to, to see if you, if you want. So if you want to do your flight school online, there's a website called pilottraining.ca. I think it's $275 and you can watch all the video lessons and do the, the exercises by yourself. It can be a little boring to sit in the computer and just watch videos. Um, you know, they are instructional videos, so they're not the most fun and entertaining videos to, to keep watching, like you're watching YouTube videos for fun. But, you know, they, they have all the information you need, so if that works for you, that's great. The books I used for my uh, private pilot training was mostly from the ground up and the slides my school prepared in class. That was enough for me to clear the exam and get a pass. A lot of my friends used Sharper Edge, I used the Sharper Edge book just for my CPL written exam. For my PPL, I didn't feel the need for it. Uh, but if you can get that book, it's always nice, you know, to have that extra bit of information, extra bit of practice. They have countless questions and answers, so you can do a lot of mock tests by yourself without depending on your flight school to do them. When you're done with the ground school from your flight school, they're probably gonna give you a mock exam with 100 questions, just like you would in the real written exam. Um, that is just so the school knows how well you're doing. A while back, I was the ground instructor for PPL ground school at my school, and we did that after they were all done with their, their ground school. We had a mock exam just to see how everyone is doing. If someone needs a little bit more studying, they can do, take their time, study a little more, get a second mock test. If their mark is good, then the school will give them the recommendation letter for them to do the written exam. The recommendation letter is something you have to get from your instructor based on how well you're doing on the mock test. He's gonna check how much you know and if you're ready to do it. In the case you're doing ground school by yourself, you can just go and buy used books instead of buying new ones. There's a lot of pilots that they're done with their training they are not gonna use the books anymore and instead of just leaving in the shelf collecting dust like I'm doing, they can sell the books to you so you can use it. So just try to check on Facebook Marketplace, just search online, uh, Facebook groups on, of pilots. I'm pretty sure someone's gonna have an old book that you can use for your written exam. 
For your written exam, you don't necessarily need a lot of flying experience, but if you already went on real flights and you have experience on the airplane, it might be better for you because during the written exam, you're gonna have some questions on navigation and things like that. And if you have practice flying, that can only help you, okay? I'm not saying, okay, get all your hours done before your written exam. No, I think you should do the written exam as soon as you can, right after you finish your ground school, so everything is still fresh in your memory. Uh, but if you can have some flight experience with the ground school, that's awesome, and I think that's very beneficial. That's what I did when I did my written exam. I think I had around 17, 18 hours, so I was like doing, uh, starting my solos, and you know it was really good uh, on transport canada's website you can read the flight test guide it has everything you need to know in order for you to prepare for your written examination nothing in the written exam is there as a surprise some questions might be you know a little harder to interpret what they want it's not like they're trying to make you fail but you know you should be you should have a good understanding of what they're asking you so just be very familiar with the study guide for the written examination and you should be just fine if you have any specific questions about the written exam that i didn't talk about in this video feel free to text me on instagram it's fly with pedro or just leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to help. If you wanna do your pilot training here in Canada and you're looking for a flight school or more information, feel free to text me also and I'll be happy to help you with whatever you need. I also made a video about the flight test for PPL. I'll link it down in the description and maybe add some other relevant videos on the description as well so you can find some good information about the pilot training here in Canada. Another video I'm gonna link in the description is PPL requirements. Uh, for you to apply for a license, you need more than just your written exam and the flight test. You also need different hours on different types of flying. So the link for that's down in the description. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos and I'll see you next time. Thank you.